She sculpts tiny shoes from beeswax and carves huge mazes from cornfields. Marion Borgeld is one artist that's hard to pin down. Despite being driven by the notion that everything in our lives is in a constant state of flux, her work, large and small, is characterised by precision and impeccable detail. I grew up on a farm and ever since a very young age I had uh, a great interest in the natural world. And I remember as a young girl standing out in the back garden, I remember looking towards the horizon when the sun was setting, thinking that vast space is something that really inspires me. And that's what's remained as a source of great inspiration now. A lot of my work is based on lunar rhythms, again, which is about the natural world. Especially the strobe series, dealing with light and dealing with optical resonance. So they bounce in front of the eye. The other works, called the liquid light series, are also very much to do with light. Light hitting a moment, if you like. Spirals, circles and ellipses have informed my work to a huge extent. You can see it in many of the pieces around us now. The spiral's a little different as it moves around. It doesn't have any stability, whereas circles and ellipses have enormous stability and they contain the space that you work in. The shifts in, in my art have been really uh, strong and visible. In the 80s, I was working with a very organic, lattice-like, uh, natural structure. And uh, it didn't have any kind of contained form to it. So it sort of would move off the canvas. In the 90s, I moved into low relief sculptural work, working a lot with wax. Then the paintings became symbol works uh, or iconic kind of shapes. I think that art has become, you know, a little too predictable and safe. They're always working within their familiar zone. For me, I like to get outside of it and work in, in territories that are challenging and uh, because I know that'll make me think differently. I think the maze is particularly fascinating because of all the mythology that's embedded in its uh, history. I kind of like to go off on a tangent and uh, explore materials and mixes of materials. It's a slow thing of realising what the potential of a material is, what you can do with it, how you can adapt and change your ideas. I think that canvas, and I'm not talking about oil paint or acrylic paint on canvas, but canvas as a, a cloth or a substance cutting into it, stretching it, pushing, pulling it, layering it, draping it. I think I've done a lot with canvas. I think I've done a lot with paper. I'm not talking about marks on paper, I'm talking about paper as being cut and layered and folded, bent, torn. There's so many materials to explore. As for oil paint on canvas, I think that's that's limitless and I think I'm far from conquering that.